here I am coming to you from my living room today. Today is kind of a sad day because I'm finishing undecorating for Christmas. Pretty much undecorated all the rest of the house. You can kind of see in the background there's some boxes there. But the last thing is the tree, and the tree needs to be undecorated. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, and I thought I would chit chat with you while I do a little bit of undecorating. Um, yesterday, no, not yesterday. What's today? I can't even remember what day it is. Today's Monday, yes. <laughs> Saturday we went down to New York City. Took the train down, which is a lot of fun. And um, did a little sightseeing around in the city. We saw the Rockefeller Christmas tree that was still up. I've seen the tree before, but it's always really fun to see it. And um, it was really great to go this time of year because it wasn't that crowded, so that was awesome. So this is kind of just like putting a cap on the end of the holiday season. But it was a great holiday season. I hope yours was great too. So I was gonna show you a few of my most favorite ornaments. And um, I'm gonna start with this one here. This, isn't that cute? It's a little tiny nest with little blue eggs in it. And I'm always scared every year because this is so tiny that it kind of hides in the tree that like we're gonna put the tree away and, and leave this on it. I think we did one year. But anyway, that's one of my favorite ornaments. Um, here's another one of my favorite ornaments. This we actually got as a wedding gift, and I think this is actually an extremely cool um, wedding gift. And uh, it's really beautiful, and it's made out of an eggshell. And uh, as you can see, the date on there, if you can see it, is 1994. Uh, so this is, surprisingly, for something so delicate, has lasted a long time. It's really, really pretty. There's like, yeah, like crystals or something. I don't know how this was made, but it, I think it's beautiful. I love this. And then, <laughs> this ornament, we spend a lot of the summer up in the Adirondacks of New York State, which is like foresty and a lot of nature and really beautiful. And we got this ornament free in a gift shop. It was like one of those coupons, like spend $10, get a free gift. And uh, my husband thinks this is uh, hilarious. I shouldn't have even shown that one. <laughs> Um, I love pine cone ornaments, and this is my, what I feel like is my nicest, most favorite pine cone ornament. And um, a lot of our ornaments were hand-me-downs from my grandparents and parents, and were bought really cheap when we first got married. I, like, barely ever, like, bought an expensive ornament, but I actually bought this. I think this was, like, $8. It was really pretty. And then we have... This, we just, we just got this, this Christmas season. Uh, a woman in church made, she crocheted these and handed them out to everyone in the congregation. And I thought, gosh, that was very, very sweet. So that's one of my new favorites. And then, let's see. These, I said we got a lot of ornaments as hand-me-downs from my parents and grandparents. These actually are from my grandparents. You can buy ornaments like this new nowadays. But these are the original antique old ones, and um, these were the ones we used growing up as a kid, and um, they're actually from my grandparents, so these are very old. And they're really pretty, and um, we have a, actually a, a ton of them, actually, and we, we only put them on the upper portion of the tree so the cats can't break them. In fact, we our tree is divided into two segments, the top part of delicate things we don't want broken, and then the bottom half is like... <laughs> Things that can't break, like thing, Kylie made this in 2003, um, and then at the very <clears throat> lowest level, we have all the hanging down for them to play with are these, they're just plastic um, bells. They look pretty. They, we have them in different colors, but they're just plastic, so when they get knocked off, no harm, no foul. Actually, our cats were quite good about the Christmas tree this year. And last but not least, this is one of my favorite ornaments because it's got a picture of Kylie when she was a baby. And how cute is that? And her little Winnie the Pooh hat. <laughs> my cat Jasper literally just jumped up on the stool where I had all these fragile ornaments. Hold on. Oh my gosh, he almost just like broke my favorite... Ah, 
pine cone ornament and my wedding ornament. Oh, he just knocked off one of them. All right, I've got all the... <sighs> fragile ornaments in my hands. Luckily, I didn't manage to break this, and this ended up on the floor, and I'm glad I found that, or that would have been batted around and probably pushed down the heating register or something, or who knows what. And, of course, he just knocked the this off. The one I said is just for him. He had to complete the trifecta of destruction where are you where are you naughty kitty cat i can't believe he just almost broke all my favorite ornaments anyway so i'm gonna be undecorating the rest of this tree today and putting stuff away and as sad as i am to see it go you know it's kind of nice to have like the house back and everything all look like nice and bright and spacious again and then there is actually besides the tree there's one last thing i need to clean up and i'll show you what that is oops i forgot there's a couple more ornaments i wanted to show you this ornament here has my name on it it's from when i was a kid this hung on my tree from when i was a kid it's so old some of the glitter fell off also i have pusheen i am a huge 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 pusheen fan and a good friend of mine gave me this one year she was my secret santa isn't that cute i love pushing and then um last but not least here is my wegmans supermarket ornament if you live someplace where there's wegmans then you know why i love wegmans so much and unfortunately there's not a wegmans here where i live um but i have been to wegmans numerous times Many years ago when we were first married, we lived in Binghamton, New York, and they had Wegmans there, and my best friend lives in Syracuse, and there's Wegmans there, so I do still get my Wegmans fix now and then, and I keep, like, every couple years I go on their website and tell them they need to put a Wegmans in my area. They're, like, all over, but not, like, right here. The closest one is, like, probably about an hour away. That actually just opened. So, if you know Wegmans, you know why I love Wegmans. Otherwise, you probably think I'm a nutter for having a Christmas ornament from, from a supermarket on my tree. Oh, I found one more ornament I was going to show you. This is a picture of me when I was eight years old. Um, I made this in Sunday school. And on the back, it says, Carol, a child of God, December 1978. Unfortunately, my name is spelled wrong because my name actually has an E on the end of it, but that's okay. Oh gosh, the timer's going off for my soup. Let's go another 20 minutes. Oh, that's two minutes. Oh boy. Uh, timer 20 there you go okay anyway as I was saying <laughs> my name is misspelled but that's okay but if you notice in the picture of me on this ornament you can see something like around my neck in my shirt there that is a back brace because when I was eight years old, uh, the age I am in this photo, I was diagnosed with scoliosis, which is curve, curvature of the spine. And I had an S curve, which means I had a curve at the top and a curve at the bottom, which is like the worst kind. And uh, when they caught it, it was already kind of bad and almost too far gone to be able to try using a brace, but they tried the brace. And uh, thankfully the brace worked and I did not need to have surgery because surgery for scoliosis is a big deal. Um, but instead I had to wear what's called the Milwaukee brace, which went from my chin to the bottom of my pelvis. Uh, had two bars in the back, one in the front. 
and um, some different pads and things that somehow moved my spine back in shape. And I had to wear this brace 23 hours a day, including, of course, while I was sleeping. Um, but uh, luckily I was young when this happened. I was still at the age where, you know, I didn't really care that much about how I looked or boys or anything like that. I was only eight. So uh, it actually wasn't terrible. And very thankfully, it corrected my scoliosis enough that I did not have to have any further treatment. I wore the brace for two and a half years. Um, so thankful for that. So anyway, this little ornament kind of reminds me of that every year. And it's not a terrible memory, which is why I don't mind hanging a picture of me in the brace on the tree. Anyway. And also while I'm doing the rest of my undecorating, I thought today would be a good day for soup. It's cold and dreary out. And I had this ham bone from this ham I made at Christmas. And I didn't really know what to do with it other than make split pea soup, but Kevin and Kylie don't like split pea soup, although I do, so I didn't know what to do with it, but I asked on Facebook and a lot of people said to try making, I could make lentil soup out of it, which I've never made before, but I bought this soup mix, Italian lentil soup, and uh, you know, it like has everything that you need in it, and you just... I guess boil it looks like for half an hour or whatever and then you're supposed to add um, sausage but I'm gonna use broth from boiling this ham bone and the good bits of ham that come off of this and then I had some uh, Christmas ham from the freezer ham for soup um, and so we're gonna have some ham and lentil soup for dinner hopefully Okay, so you might have seen um, around Facebook or whatever, uh, I saw quite a few of them going around, people leaving out snacks and things for their delivery drivers. Well, we have a couple of delivery drivers. Well, most that come to our house is the post office, UPS, and FedEx. Um, the UPS guy, well, we have a fairly new mail carrier, which we don't know that well, but our UPS guy, his name's Mike, he's awesome, he's the best. He leaves our dog biscuits, he's friends with our dog. Our dog will bark for like anybody coming up the driveway, but when he sees the UPS truck, he like wags his tail and he gets all excited because he knows Mike is here and Mike will give him a biscuit. And, and even if like we're not outside when Mike comes, he leaves the biscuit on the package. And when I open the door, Tank like knows first thing he does is goes and makes a beeline for the package to get his biscuit off the top. It's the cutest thing. And each year for Christmas, and actually usually one other time during the year, I actually give Mike a big box of milk bones so that um, he has plenty of milk bones to share with all the dogs. and to help replenish all the biscuits he's given our dog. Anyway, um, so actually I had seen this idea last year, so I actually had mine out before I feel like all the videos hit Facebook of people leaving stuff for their um, delivery person. And um, I'll show you what, what I have. Okay, now the reason why it's a pumpkin man is because I put this out starting at Halloween time. And originally Pumpkin Man was holding a black plastic cauldron and originally it had some bottles of water and some bags of snacks like chips and you know things like that and then when thanksgiving came and it became the holiday season i put a scarf and a santa hat on pumpkin man but i've already packed those away but anyway and i put a cooler on his um lap not really to keep things cold actually to keep uh things from freezing inside like the water and there's some gatorade in there and actually the insulation I was hoping would keep those items from freezing and it seemed like it worked and anyway here's the sign and um, we had lots of partakers of our little cooler of snacks um, we replenished it many times throughout the holiday season we've got some water in here we had Gatorade that was pretty popular we had these um, Nature Valley Protein Granola Bars. These were very popular as well. And some chips and pretzels. And then there's none in here right now. But um, cheese and crackers too uh, seemed like they were pretty popular. So it's time for me to put away Pumpkin Man. It's actually made from old clothes that we were going to donate. These are my um, old shoes I used to wear when I was a lunch lady. <laughs> and um, I'm going to actually take it apart. And he's actually stuffed with clothes as well. So I'm going to take all that out and wash it all and pack it all away. 
and um, save that for next probably like October 1st when we'll start putting out stuff for our delivery people again and for what it's worth I I live in New York and it's like 30 something degrees out right now in fact just a short time ago it was actually snowing but when you live in a place where you're used to it being cold like believe it or not like 35 40 45 degrees doesn't really feel cold that cold anymore so um, I'm in a I got a thermal top on and a sweatshirt and I'm fine for the moment I mean when, I wouldn't stay out here all day in that but I was just running some errands and for getting in and out of the car and whatever this was totally fine we don't break out our like big winter coats till it's like you know more like less than 20 degrees um, and we it hasn't even been that cold this winter yet but usually it gets cold more towards like mid end of January so still I'm sure some real actual cold weather to come so anyway um, now it's the new year I want to continue I've been working on trying to get my house organized and I think the next thing I'm gonna organize is my purses I would say declutter but I can only think of one purse that I think I'm gonna declutter but um, I'll show you in another video how they're like all crammed in this one area and I, it's getting too hard to like find what purse I want and plus they really shouldn't be like super smushed like that. So um, that's my plan for my next video is purse reorganization, maybe decluttering. If you wouldn't mind if you like this video, I'd love it if you would like it and I would be even happier if you subscribed and if you want to know every time I make a new video, you can hit the notification bell. Take care everybody, stay safe, love you, bye!